Good morning, everybody. Today is February 25, uh, 25th, 2020, and this is Tuesday. And uh, I'd like to kind of continue from my previous video. Uh, it's just my GoPro does not allow me to create videos more than eight minutes on one file if I'm uh, recording them in uh, 4K at 60 uh, uh, frames per second. So uh, the point is that uh, and right now a lot of you are maybe, uh, you know, kind of gripped by fear because you don't know, you know, what's going on, what, you know, maybe some of you are suffering. So, this is Dick with what? Um, the, you know some uh, you you gripped with uh, fear and uh, what happens is that you know what I need to put my phone on do not disturb because I, lately I've been caught I've been getting all these crazy calls and uh, you know I don't know who these people are but the point is this a lot of you are suffering maybe some major paper losses okay because the market went down a hundred po a thousand points yesterday it was down today 300 points I think it bounced back a little bit but you're sitting on your you know paper losses and you don't know what to do you think that shit maybe I should you know cut my losses get out you know take a few thousand dollars or maybe a few hundred dollar loss And, and just wait out this panic, you know, let the market to go back to normal. When volatility comes down, there's no crazy, you know, ups and downs by a thousand points. And, uh, you know, then I could manage this kind of risk. I mean, obviously it is your choice, what you, will, you know, what you do. But um, <clears throat> remember one thing that when we trade the market, as I said in my previous video, we trade really two feelings, fear and greed. So right now we have a lot of fear on the market, you know, because of the price dropping, we have the communist uh, uh, Bernie, you know, crazy Bernie trying to win the you know, uh, U.S. presidency by offering everybody free shit, you know, and a lot of people are jumping on that offer because, you know, there's a lot of lazy people out there. They don't want to, you know, work for that, you know, for the benefits or for the things that people, you know, uh, usually have to earn. So, uh, and the, the other thing is that yeah, and Bernie also says, you know, he looks at rich people, he looks at the stock market and things. Oh, you know, these people are sucking all the juices from the nation and they, you know, stuffing their pockets with money and uh, uh, leaving out the rest of the people, you know, out on the street, basically, cold and, uh, you know, poor, which is partially true, but, you know... Um, so this fear, also the fear of the stupid coronavirus that came from nowhere and with such a huge force that it's hard to believe that this is a naturally, you know, created uh, disease because, um, you know, usually what happens is that if something like this existed in nature, you know, you know it would uh, give us some, some signs of it, but we don't see a bunch of dead animals or any kind of like you know we don't see hunters going to the uh, wild uh, I don't know to nature to the forest and bringing a ton of dead animals that are you know infected by the coronavirus right all we hear is just people and maybe if, the, if we do hear some animals but they were specifically infected by researchers to trying to find the cure because you know this is how we invent drugs but the main thing is that there's a bunch of fear on the market. And um, <clears throat> I want to say time and time again that um, majority of the people on the market 
they lose money and they lose money to a few winners people that basically you know outsmart them outbrave them and the main thing is out action them uh, a lot of people you know when uh, the fear is high they push the sell button you know and the funny thing is there's 80 percent of trades that are happening on the stock market are being executed by computers but these computers are programmed by people and what people did was they programmed their fear into the decision making software or what they call decision engines and they basically say hey look around if everybody is selling don't you know go against the wind or how they say don't speed against the wind uh, basically get out as well because that selling pressure is gonna wipe you out and what we see is we see those flash crashes or flash sales when suddenly a bunch of computers from a bunch of um, institutional inve investors and firms and uh, you know pension funds and all kinds of uh, you know asset holding companies suddenly uh, together push the sell button and uh, you know create this tremendous sell pressure which basically crashes the prices of the stock so and this is why they usually don't create don't deliver great um uh just saw a google car that is uh, doing the video of the street but this is why they don't make good money you know because they're trying to be super safe super uh you know super sensitive to fear and they would rather wait out the crash than to participate in it my philosophy is different be fearless when everybody is fearful use that fear to buy low and then sell high because no matter what you do no matter what kind of justifications or uh, any kind of like theory that you have how you should invest if your theory doesn't align with a simple rule buy low and sell high you're gonna lose money and uh, uh, I'm actually here to help you because what I did was I actually created an app that gives you advice on 5,000 stocks what to buy and what to sell you could go to the website oh sorry that's a wrong one you could go to the website 2stx.com that will take you directly to the Apple App Store where you could download install and run my app on your iPhone iPad and Apple TV and it will give you fresh buy and sell recommendations that are updated daily and they have really good track record basically when I say buy the stock market go I mean the stock goes up and when I say sell the more the stock is going sell. but it's not me it's a computer that does that thank you for your time and good luck trading